Welcome to Joshua Reproduction and today we're going to be looking at the answers of Science Paper 1 of 2017 and this first paper was the GC past paper so we know that Paper 1 that's physics so we're going to be looking at the answers of physics if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that each and every time i post a new video you might be notified and specifically we're going to be looking at the question from section b which is question b6 so the question reads figure b6.1 shows a converging lens of focal length 2.0 centimeters used to produce an image of an object 2.0 centimeters to placed 5 centimeters from the lens so as you can see there's the lens and the principal axis the question proceeds using the information given above Loma numeral 1 draw to scale on figure B6.1 a lay diagram to locate the image formed 3 marks Loma numeral 2 calculate the magnification of the image formed 2 marks so for us to answer Loma numeral 1 for us to draw the lay diagram let us look at the information that we have been given So from the information we know that the focal length is 2 centimeters. So the focal length that's 2 centimeters. Then we also know that the object is uh, 2 centimeters tall. So the object is 2 centimeters tall and it is placed five centimeters from the lens so it is placed five centimeters from the lens five centimeters from the lens so the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to draw my principal axis So I've drawn my principal axis and my lens. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to put my focal length, which is two centimeters. So I need to use my meter rule. So I need to measure two centimeters from the lens. So that's my focal length. So one, two here. And I have another focal length here. And another one here. And another one here so th those are my focal length so I'm going to name my focal length so there is here there is F and here there is 2F so I'll name those so 
So this is my F. So as you can see, that's my principal axis showing the focal length. And the, here I'm having my lens. So from this information, I've written the focal length as two centimeters. So we are done with this. Then our object is two centimeters, but it is placed five centimeters away from the lens. So let us draw our object. So let us measure five centimeters away from the lens. So that's my five centimeters there. Then I'll just put something so that I can know where it is. So it must start here. That's where my object must be. Then the other thing I know that my object is two centimeters tall. So I need to measure two centimeters. So I've measured my object, which is two centimeters tall and it is five centimeters away from the lens. The other thing that I'm going to do now is to draw my lays. So my first, my first ray here, my first ray of light will move from the object, the top object, the lay will touch the lens. So let me just draw that line. So my first line will move from the top of the top of uh, the object to the lens. Then as it reaches the lens, it has to pass through the focal length. So it has to pass through the focal length, then it will go down. So that's the first layer of right. The second one will move from the top of the object, then it will pass, pass through the center of the lens. So it will move in this manner. Uh, that's the second one then the other one since we have identified that this is where our image is let us draw the third layer of light so it passes through the focal length to touch this layer of light and that means you have drawn the light diagram the only thing that you're remaining with is to draw the image so the image is formed where all the three layers converge so let us draw our image
and as you can see here the place of light are uh, at the bottom that means that our image will be upside down so that's our image and sometimes you can be asked to give some of the properties that the image uh, that the image possesses and for example this image is inverted that means it is upside down then the other property of this image is that it is real that means that the image is formed where the light rays passes through so let us go to Roman numeral 2 Roman numeral 2 reads calculate the magnification of the image formed so I'm supposed to calculate the magnification. Magnification is equal to the, uh, the height of the image over the height of the object. So the height of the image over the height of the object. And we know that the height of the object, that's 2 centimeters. So let us measure the height of this image that is formed. So as you can see, the height of uh, the image is 1.5. So that's 1.5. So let us do our calculations. So we know that magnification is equal to the height of the image over the height of the object. And we have just found out that the height of the image is 1.5 centimeters so 1.5 divide by we know that the height of the object is 2 that's 0 0.75 so that's the magnification of the image yeah that's our magnification 0 